98 degrees. That's cooler than it was earlier. Oh. In my area, they've been pruning so that the tree itself would be healthier. And a lot of times people, when they see pruning going on, they don't really understand that it's for the best interest of the plant. And sometimes people prune cosmetically, like in bonsai, but at times God has to prune our lives where he cuts us back from some of the things that we'd like to do to some of the things that we no longer can do because it's gone so far out that if we continue to go in that direction, it would overwhelm the foundation of who we are and what we are and what God is doing in our lives. So he cuts it off. <laughs> and when he does, nobody likes it. <laughs> but Lord, how come you did that? Well, it's for growth and it's for maturity. And it's for development. And sometimes we all need to be pruned. He hath made me a polished shaft. Isaiah 49.2 There's a very famous pebble beach at Pescadero on the California coast. The lone line of white surf comes up with its everlasting roar and rattles and thunders along the stones on the shore. They are caught in the arms of the pitiless waves and tossed and rolled and rubbed together and ground against the sharp-grained cliffs. Day and night, forever, the ceaseless attrition, attrition goes on, never any rest. And the result? Tourists from all around the world thither to gather the round, beautiful stones. They are laid up in cabinets, they ornament parlor mantles. But go yonder, beyond the point of the cliff that breaks off the face of the sea, and up in that quiet cove, sheltered from the storms, lying ever in the sun, you shall find abundance of pebbles that have never been chosen by the traveler. Why are these left all the years with no one finding them? For the simple reason they have escaped all the turmoil and attrition of the waves, and the quiet and the peace have left them as they found them, rough and angular and devoid of any beauty. Polish comes through trouble. Since God knows what niche we are to fill, let us trust him to shape us to it. Since he knows what work we are to do, let us trust him to drill us to the proper preparation. Part of being in a relationship is the fact that when you are involved with a person, that person rubs off on you and you rub off on that person. It's kind of an automatic, normal part of maturity that you change and you adapt to what that person wants as well as what you want and you become different than who you were before you had that relationship. The same is true with Jesus, is that the longer you're in a relationship with him, the more that he's going to rub off on you, is that he will cause you to change in ways that you never imagined you would. You become less sharp, less bitter, less anger, less provocable, because his nature becomes infused in yours, and as it works from the inside out, likewise God works on it from the outside in by bringing in circumstances and situations that cause you to develop and mature. And then the process of age, too, changes your body and it wears it down to a place of peace. And sometimes age where you no longer can automatically react in a quick and affronting manner, but that your maturity and your physical limitations bring you to a place of where God would have you to be so that you're ready for what he would do. And in ministry, that's the way it works. There are a lot of people out there that, you know, they're young and they're wonderful and they're exciting to see and sometimes it looks so great. But the saint that's been saved for a long period of time, I see a quality in them that seems to be something I understand as being more like Jesus than the person who just suddenly is excited and they're always hyped, you know, and they always got to go, go, go and do, do, do and become bigger and bigger and bigger, which is good for them. For me, 
Sometimes I like to sit back, look around, and see how far God has brought me, and how far God is taking you, and how far we have yet to go, and how little time left, because I'm excited by the fact that Jesus is coming soon. Because that means my pruning and my changing and developing is almost done. He's almost completed the work in me. And though I feel far, far from perfect, I do recognize that when he gets here, <laughs> it will be a quick transformation. So, even so, come Lord Jesus, because I can't wait. Can you?